want you to make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. Like I'm the only one that you ever know. Hey guys, welcome to Top of Topic Tuesday on Daily Double Zero. Did everybody get Top of today's trending topics? Or whatever the fuck I feel like talking about, because let's just face it, it's my damn channel. I do what I want. Then I decided to actually go back to my roots and talk about what I really love to talk about. Sex. Because Valentine's Day, the most romantic day ever, is coming up this weekend. I decided to talk to you guys about some sexy, sexy fetishes. A lot of people get turned on by the weirdest things. Just, I don't know. There's a fetish for getting turned on by lamps. Just the thought of a lamp. Just, ugh! Yes! Yes! Ah! So it's probably as easy as a light switch to turn that guy on. Hey! Puns! There was a list of fetishes on the BuzzFeed, so I decided to actually read off from that. Fernophilia, form of bondage in which a person is used or incorporated into a piece of furniture. Oh yes. The minute I saw this, I instantly thought Beauty and the Beast. Oh my god, that's like all about like bestiality and some shit. Look, you had all those fucking furniture people running around and shit. A fucking candelabra was getting on with a freaking dust mop behind the curtains. Just like, no. No. So like, if you got that phonophilia, that movie is just for you. The next one is Sacrophagosis. I don't remember that in Harry Potter. The process of making a hole in one's pocket in order to masturbate in public. Ah, so that's what they meant at WOMS AT THE READY! Next we have Liquidophilia. That's not even clever. Arousal caused by the submersion of one's genitals in liquid. First thing I thought when I read this was my high school swimming pool, cause look, that was not water. That was thick, it was slimy, it was... Swimming in semen, that's all it was. Huh. <sighs> Simorophilia. Okay. Arousal due to witnessing or staging disasters such as car accidents. Which I guess is why after a car has an accident and then moved safely to the side of the road so traffic can go through, it's still freaking as slow as shit because someone, it just has to stop and just watch that shit go on. And I'm just like, oh my god, I have work. The clock don't stop for your cock. I want that on a shirt really badly. Next we have Proterism. Rubbing against a non-consenting person to facilitate sexual stimulation. <laughs> so basically, living in New York City and being extremely happy about it. Me personally, I never really understood fetishes and things. Whether it's a strong attraction desire to see someone's feet, smell it, rub it against their face. Oh, lick that cells, baby! We're eating a bag of fucking grapes. I don't know, maybe just me. Maybe I'm the weirdo here, but I just never get turned on by so many strange and bizarre things, or specific things. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with actually having a fetish. If there's something that really gets you going, it's something that gets you in the mood, and you and your partner both consent to these actions, then by all means, whatever builds your tower, oh, or opens your floodgates, go right ahead, girl. No one's stopping you. You do you, girl. You do you. But there are some things that are fetishes that I'm just like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, no. Oh no. For example, bestiality. The sexual attraction to another species outside of being human. Look, there's no freaking way that you got an animal to consent to put your penis inside of them. Or their penis inside of you. I no. Look, I own a dog. That dog is basically like my own child. The last thing I want to think is that some person finds my dog sexually attractive. And they go back to my videos and they're like, damn boy, it's some really good shit. Oh yeah, wag that tail, baby, wag that tail. Yeah, shake that ass. Ooh, like if anything, just become a furry. For those who don't know about them furries, they're basically people who like to have sex or sexual interactions with other people, wearing animal costumes and taking their persona as their own. I don't know who first discovered this fetish. Did they just wake up one morning and were just like, hey, I want to be fisted by a cheetah while eating a giraffe. Just like, this is all I ever wanted in life. And is down below. I can't read, guys. I just can't do it. Sexual pleasure derived from the thought of tearing out sexual organs by the roots. Oh no. <laughs> no. Antoniopiophilia, also known as infantilism. The sexual pleasure derived from dressing up as, or imagining oneself as, an infant. Which is. I just. <sighs> There's people out there who get really turned on by being a giant fucking adult sized baby. Do you know how many times on Tumblr I see. Grown ass men wearing diapers with a freaking bottle in their mouths going goo goo gaga -ga, motherfucker. Oh, oh no, I've been a bad boy. Looks like baby made a mess. Who wants to come wipe my tushy and change my diaper? It, I just cannot stop thinking that this relates close to pedophilia, which just, I just, no, just no, 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 
no. Gerontolophilia. Sexual preference for the elderly. <laughs> but I don't know, how old are we talking? Are we talking like, hey, they're in their 40s and they're still really good looking, kinda hot? Or just like, oh baby, look at that old man, yo. Skin sagging looking just like my granddaddy, yo. He can get it, yo. He fine ass motherfucker, yo, bitch. I don't wanna be with a guy who's just so old he's just coming dust. Just no, no thank you. With balls sagging so low that I could trip over them and then knock into him and then he breaks a hip. Just, I, nope, nope. Mm -mm. There's a sexual interest in teddy bears. Look, as I said before, there's a lot of strange fetishes out there. And like I said, it's not wrong to have a fetish. If you and your partner consent to these actions between each other in your sexual exchanges, then it's okay. A lot of people don't understand it, but you know what? I have no problem with it. You guys do your own thing. If chains and a whip six inside you, I like it, like it. Go right ahead. Paddle each other's booty cheeks. Because with BDSM, they all have limitations on what they can do or what they consider consent, and they respect each other's partner. But guys, it's not a safe fetish if it induces pain on another person without their consent or an animal or a child or if it involves inflicting pain on them or hurting them or abusing them or even just raping them those aren't fetishes your boner isn't worth ending another person's life because if you are someone who only gets sexually aroused by the thought of abusing or hurting manipulating another fully functioning person without their consent or even abusing or killing animals maybe you just don't deserve to have sex and as you guys may know this weekend is also the release of 50 shades of gray ah uh, yes the story of Anastasia Beaver housing a small timid girl who meets this strong powerful man who just wants to get down and dirty with her in all the most sexual ways oh yeah I never did this before oh, oh, oh. true love story where a man basically uses the excuse of BDSM to abuse and manipulate a small girl without her consent and then she just submits to it because she's just like, oh my god, like, I love him and shit. I mean, yeah, it hurts and yeah, like, I don't really like it, but like, it makes him happy, so like, that makes me the best girlfriend ever, yes! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, look, bitch, you're wrong. You cannot use a fetish as an excuse to actually abuse or subject someone to so much danger or pain or hardship because that's not safe for that person. But anyway, guys, I say to you and your partner, have fun, be safe, discuss what you guys want to do, and if you guys do want to spice up the bedroom, yo, I recommend throwing some adobo on that bitch, yo, bitch. Just have fun, be safe, and make sure your partner's okay with it, too. Anyway, guys, leave a comment down below. Oh, what's one of your weirdest fetishes? What's something you're into? What's something that really gets you going that you're just like, yo, yo, if this happened to me, I'd be like, yeah. Are you turned on by feet? Are you turned on by hands? Are you turned on by noses? Are you turned on with being swallowed? Which is just interesting to me. <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later. Stay awesome. 